here for a week. We have team coverage of this story tonight. We start with our Brittany Jeffers, who talked to Sheriff Ed Gonzalez about the twist in this case. Brittany? Yeah, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez tells me that they have been inundated with tips from the community over this past week, but he tells me that they received a very important bit of information. This came from an activist in New York, and he said it was through this tip that they learned the name of the alleged suspect. A seven-year-old murdered, and for nearly a week, the focus centered on this sketch and finding the person in a red truck. But after a tip from a New York activist, Sean King, that focus quickly changed to this man. Eric Black Jr. was arrested on Saturday and charged with capital murder in the death of Jasmine Barnes. Mr. Black has acknowledged his role in Jasmine's murder. We've also received information that this involves a second individual as well. So what about the red truck? On his Instagram account, King explained that he was contacted by a witness who claimed that Black and another man are the ones who shot at Jasmine Barnes and her family. King immediately contacted Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, who says that the red truck was likely in the area at the time of the shooting, but not the gunman. We believe now that that red truck and the driver is most likely just a witness, either by sight or sound, to what actually transpired. We still want that individual to come forward. The sheriff says to his knowledge, Eric Black Jr. didn't know the family, and he believes it was a case of mistaken identity. But he couldn't yet tell me if it was gang-related or what the motive was. We're still trying to develop who uh, the likely targets were. As new details evolve, community and faith leaders say they're putting their energy towards honoring Jasmine. We must continue to pray and embrace this family as they funeralize Jasmine, that peace will not only be brought to them, but be brought to the community. We're hoping that the grief of this moment will be turned into power as we serve to make our neighborhoods and our communities safer for all children. As sources tell Channel 2 that another man who is possibly linked to this case is in custody right now, but of course no charges have been filed just yet. Uh, as far as the investigation goes, uh, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says they're going to continue speaking with witnesses and trying to see if there's any surveillance in the area where the shooting happened. Live in downtown Houston tonight, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.